Okay, the first question is an exponential question. We'll take the 27x squared and the 8y cubed. These negative exponents, we'll flip them and put them to the other side where we have x to the fourth in the numerator and y cubed in the denominator. We'll have the whole thing to the one-third power and combine them to get 27x to the sixth over 8y to the sixth, adding the exponents because the bases are the same. And now we'll apply the one-third to all parts of the fraction where the numerator becomes 27 to the one-third, x to the sixth to the one-third, eight to the one-third, y to the sixth to the one-third. So we have the cube root of 27, three, cube root of eight, two. When you have it to a power to another power, you multiply it, so that'll be x squared numerator, y squared denominator. And that's the most simplified version of the answer. For part B, we'll distribute the root 2 across to get the square root of 18 times 2 minus the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, or the square root of 4. So we get the square root of 36 minus the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 36 is just 6, the square root of 4 is just 2 for an answer of 4. I'm going to solve these linear equations. Let's just add x to both sides and have 5 is equal to negative 17 plus x and add 17 to both sides. And we'll get that 22 is equal to x. We have to distribute here and get 8x minus 16 minus 5x minus 20. And that's supposed to be equal to 20 plus x on the right hand side. Putting together the x terms we get 3x. Putting together the constants we get minus 36. And now we'll move the 36 over by adding it. And we'll subtract x. To end up with 2x equals to 56. Divide by 2. Half of 56 is 28. and solve this quadratic equation by setting it equal to 0, adding 14x over to both sides. And we end up with 3x squared plus 14x plus 16 equals to 0. We have to factor we got to have a 3x and an x. And then we'll have to find two numbers that multiply to give us 16. And when put in with one of them being multiplied by 3, we get a 14. And so um, both the signs are positive. Same sign, both positive. And so we'll do uh, 8 and 2. That would give us 8x if we put the 8 there, 6x if we put the 2 there, and that would give us the 14x. This is set equal to 0, so either 3x plus 8 is 0, or x plus 2 is 0. This means that 3x is a negative 8, or that x is negative 8 thirds, and this means that x is negative 2. For this quadratic, however, you can't factor it. Multiples, uh, factors of 47 uh, that add up to give you 14 can't happen. So we do b squared minus 4ac to find out what that is first. Uh, b is 14. 14 squared is 196. 196 minus 4 times 1 times 47. 
47 times 4 is 188. So we have 196 minus 188, and we end up with 8. So when we go to try to find y, we say the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of that b squared minus 4ac, which is 8, all divided by 2a, and a is 1. This 8, you can't leave it like that. You have to make it the root of 4 times the root of 2, or 2 root 2. So we have negative 14 plus or minus 2 root 2 all over 2, and the final step is to break it up as negative 14 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 over 2, and then we cancel. For our answer that y is equal to negative 7 plus or minus root 2. Find the equation of the line through these two points, we have to get the slope, change in y, divided by change in x. So we subtract the y's in the numerator to get a negative 6, subtract the x's in the denominator in the same order to get a 4, and that reduces to negative 3 halves. So if you have a slope of negative 3 halves, take either of the points, take 2, 4, into the point slope formula, y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. So m times x minus x1. And so um, we'll have y minus 4 is negative 3 halves of x. If you take a negative 3 halves and you multiply by a negative 2, you end up with a positive 3. And the last step is to add this 4 over to have the point slope formula of negative 3 halves x plus 7.